Yo, Philly! Hello, everybody. I'm Jen Sherlock, and you're watching the second installment of Yo, Philly. Shanoa Green is holding out for a new contract this week, but we're optimistic that she'll be back soon because if the Eagles could keep Donovan McNabb happy, then anything is possible. But more on Shanoa in a few moments. A lot has happened since we launched the site on June 3rd. PhillyToPhilly.com has received a warm reception from the masses, receiving close to 30,000 page views in the first three weeks. Joe and Dennis have been hard at work each and every day, leading a talented team that is getting better every week. The team has been covering everything from the Preston and Steve Blood Drive to helping those who are victims of the economic crisis with Project Dig, which can be found on our politics community page. I also hear Joe and Dennis are being recruited by Mayor Nutter to oversee the overhaul of the city government. Maybe, just maybe, we'll actually be able to go into the city without paying $20 to park for an hour and a half. PhillyToPhilly.com held their launch party on June 3rd at Benny the Bums in South Philly. And as you can see, it was quite an opening as Philly to Philly entered the online arena with a bang. NFL great John Runyon and St. Joseph's basketball coach Phil Martelli dropped by to show their support. And Philadelphia sportscasting legend Dan Baker provided the introductions for Joe and Dennis, who took a moment to thank everyone for helping them make their dream a reality. For this evening, Joe Valley and Dennis Baker. Uh, when I look out here tonight, I see a lot of hard work, dedication, blood, sweat, and tears on behalf of myself, on behalf of Dennis, on behalf of everybody at PhillyToPhilly.com. Uh, it's been a long run. It's, it's been a crazy run. We've been working on this since April of last year. If you would have told me a year ago when we were forming this website that so many people would have come out to support us, I would have thought you were crazy. We had extreme confidence in us, in this project from the beginning. But I want to thank you, everybody, from the bottom of my heart for coming out tonight. Not one to rest on their laurels, Philly to Philly also recently covered the Wizard World Convention, which took place at the Philadelphia Convention Center. We sent our own Shanoa Green there to check it out. Let's see what trouble she got into. Hey people, I'm Chanoa Green reporting live from Wizard World 2009 right here at the Convention Center. Stay tuned as you see, we're going to have a lot of fun. Let's go. Joe, tell me a little bit about yourself and why you're here at Wizard World 2009. Well, I'm here because I love Star Wars a lot. I played the games and I definitely like the lightsabers a lot. After all these years, how come you just can't capture Batman? What's, what's the deal? He, he's a tricky fellow. He just plans so far ahead. He can't. He, he knows the answers even better than I do. So what was it like to capture Han Solo? It was my greatest bounty ever. Okay. And what did it feel like falling down that pit in Return of the Jedi? The Sarlacc pit didn't feel very good. Didn't feel very good? Well, what did it feel like? It hurt like hell. Well, my question is, why not be the good Spider-Man? Why are you the bad Spider-Man? Oh, uh, I don't know. Besides, I figure like, um, like the costume is more easy to put on than, than, um, than my old one. No, just to be honest, you're evil, aren't you? Well, right. <laughs> Well, right. I'm here with Kristana Locken, the first female Terminator. So how does it feel fe being the first female Terminator? Um, well, I think a lot of people were wondering if a woman really could kick Arnold's butt. And they obviously saw that I could. So it felt pretty good. Yeah. Well, well, to be honest. How did it feel playing your character on Buffy? It was great. It was, it was so much fun. I mean, she was so well written and... We all just had such a good time working together, and she's so ridiculous, so the character, I mean, I, it's, I think it's impossible to not have a good time. Um, so how does it feel when parents come up to you and say you were their hero from back in the day? It feels great because it brings a lot of joy, a lot of hope, a lot of excitement, and also it transcends into the, uh, the next generation because, you know, when they were kids watching the show, it gave them a great feeling knowing that G versus E. Um, the black seat does feel good, and um, hopefully, hopefully some females. Um, I know some females um, are, are turn on with turn on. Oh, we like the black. Okay, I see that. I do. I like the black. Well, guys, as you can see, Wizard World is full of all the excitement, and we just had a great time here. It's a wrap. I'm about to go learn how to do some sword fighting. Let's go. Thanks, Chinoa. What we didn't catch on camera was Joe challenging Lou Ferrigno to an arm wrestling match. 
It turns out Joe actually won, but Mr. Ferrigno's legal team sent us a cease and desist letter asking us not to air the footage for fear of embarrassing the legendary strongman. Oh well, it's not the first time Philly to Philly received something like this before. Shinoa's full-length interviews with the Wizard World guests can be found on the Yo Philly page at phillytophilly.com. Well, that will do it for us. But before we go, just remember, if you haven't seen it anywhere else or are just looking to expect the unexpected, chances are you can find it here on Yo Philly. Until next time, I'm Jen Sherlock. Good day and good luck, or however Keith Olbermann puts it. The stinks over there. I'm Dennis. I'm Joe. And you're watching Mon. <laughs> so what was it like to um, capture Han Solo? My greatest your greatest, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, hold on, what? <laughs> Chanel Green is holding out for a new contract this week, but we're optimistic that she'll be back soon because if the Eagles can keep Monovan. <laughs> Monovan! Hello, Monovan. Monovan, make that. Monovan. <laughs>